Hey you guys, and welcome to my first plan with me for the month of March. I figured since I have a lot of goals going on this month with health and fitness, it would be a little beneficial to plan everything out a week ahead. Again, this is for the week of March 5th through the 11th. Go. I hope you guys have all enjoyed the first few days of March here in Ohio. It's actually been a little bit warmer than usual. Then we'll go in and let's label each of these days of the week. I got this template online. I thought it was just a nice way to kind of plan out the week in advance. The planner I have is a little bit different. It um, has like a three by five square area for each day, but I figured since this is something a little extra outside of when to go to work and when to do other activities, this would just help focus on health and fitness. Okay, now, Monday through Friday, clearly I have my day job, so I'll put that at the top. That is my cat in her litter box, so excuse that if you hear it. So 9 to 5, and if you watch these vlogs, you know that last week I finished my little side hustle of teaching voice and piano. I do have a few other kids that I need to finish because their tuition still has some credits for lessons. So this week I just teach Monday 5 to 5.30, uh, just a single voice lesson, which is not too bad. And now with the purple, let's figure out some workouts for the week. Monday is always a little bit hectic, so I like to just do a 30-minute workout at home. And I look up this really great YouTube channel called Pop Sugar. They have a whole bunch of workouts. I will link their channel down below. They are fantastic, especially if you only have so much time. You can search like 30, 45 minutes to an hour, and they will have workouts in that time frame. So again, that is Pop Sugar for Monday. Tuesday I have a little bit more time, so I'll do a 4 to 5 p.m. gym session. And I do belong to a gym now, and it's really nice. I can just pick a time to go. They're open 24-7, and I like going twice a week. And I think this day I'll want to do cardio, legs, and arms. When I go to the gym, I kind of want to hit these three big areas. Back to the purple, moving over to Wednesday, March 7th, because I'll probably be really sore, I'll just do a 10 minute stretch. Usually do it in my office, at work, I can close the door. I think that's the biggest advantage of having your own private office, is that you can just close the door and you know do your stretches, whatever you need to do in the privacy of your own office. Thursday, I will make it similar to Tuesday with a 4 to 5 p.m. gym session. This time, let's focus on cardio and legs. So I'll probably do like a two-mile run and then just some leg machines and some squats and lunges. And then Friday, my favorite day of the week, around 2 p.m. Every Friday is the best time. I'll do a 30-minute full body workout. This one I don't get off of YouTube. There is a Pinterest channel that has, um, not a channel, excuse me, a Pinterest board that has different kinds of workouts. And their full body is really nice. You can just... Um, time, put a timer on your phone, do what you need to do, and when the timer goes off, you're done. So Pinterest is the way to go there. And then Saturday, just so I don't sleep in and waste all of my free time, because that is becoming a pet peeve the older I get, I will schedule a 10 a.m. 45-minute ultra cardio workout. And of course, that is also on Pop Sugar.
And then Sunday is my rest day. So let's get the red marker. While I don't go to the gym this day, I will try to get 10,000 steps in. Usually it happens at the grocery store because I'm very talented at forgetting one thing at the grocery store and having to walk to the other side. And I do it at least two to three times each time I go to the store. Um, let's see here. We'll put grocery shopping on this day and then meal planning or meal prep. I hate meal prepping, but I love when it's done because I don't have to worry about anything. And then just some notes for this week or some goals. Let's see here. I won't cross it out. I'll just write goals next to it. Uh, goal number one will be three gym visits, 10,000 steps per day. I would like to log all of my food into the app MyFitnessPal, which you've probably heard me talk about several times in other videos. If you still don't know what that is, please Google it. It is well worth your time. Number four is to get enough sleep and water. And then I'm going to schedule my very first weigh-in for March 8th. I will start that day so I know when it is coming. But there you guys go. This is my week's worth of planning when it comes to health and fitness. I do have a, a normal planner that shows, you know, other activities that happen during the week, but I wanted a special place that showed all of my fitness goals for the week. I hope you guys liked it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.